welcome back to another edition of Thoughtful Tuesdays, um, or also known as Keesh Talks here on uh, HipHopConvos.com. So today we're going to talk about the commercialization of hip-hop as far as the music and dance. I was on Facebook scrolling down uh, my timeline and I saw a little excerpt of a documentary, I think it's called Hip Hop Beyond the Beats or something like that, which I thought would be very interesting not only for my YouTube, but for this blog in particular because it is called uh, Beyond the Block. So I was like, hey, they kind of go hand in hand. So on a more serious note, it was talking about the commercialization of hip hop music in particular, and I feel like the same thing that happens with the hip hop music also happens with hip hop dance. And I feel like I have a voice, so I'm going to use it, and I'm going to express my opinion and my concerns. So I think what it all boils down to when it comes to the music and the dance is that it's not just a black thing. I just want to throw that out there. It's not saying that white people or people who aren't of color can't partake in uh, taking hip-hop class or listening to hip-hop music. The thing about it is, is that a lot of the times with commercialization of anything, um, the main concern um, or what's at the forefront in my opinion, which hints the name commercialization, is money. So people do crazy stuff for money. There's a lot of things in the world that people do and they do them because they get money. So we already know that money has you to do crazy things. And a lot of the times with the commercialization of hip hop culture or hip hop dance in particular, um, we're kind of spreading lies. So I just want to first start off by saying that my views on hip hop dance and hip hop culture may be completely different than somebody else who will consider themselves uh, another fellow hip hop head. But this is just my opinion and this is a happy home so we're just going to talk, okay? There are a lot of roots um, in particular with hip hop dance and hip hop music of course. Of course hip hop has evolved and changed over time because hip hop I feel like is the love child of society and a lot of um, harsh things that have happened in our American society. So as the society changes, I feel like hip hop in particular uh, changes as well. So with that being said, I can understand me being a fellow hip hop lover of not only hip hop music but hip hop dance. I can understand why there are certain people and people in general who are kind of a little annoyed with the way that a lot of people um, think that ha a lot of people's perception on hip hop in general. So the thing that I like to do is I'm not like a b-boy or a b I'm not like a b-girl. I don't uh, I don't really do house. I don't do really um, I don't do the traditional styles of hip hop dance. But I think it is important because my style is of course a fusion of a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I think it is important to teach people the fundamentals and we all know as far as hip hop dance is concerned um, three legendary uh, foundation, uh, foundational dances of hip hop are breaking, popping, and locking. So what do we do when we don't want people to have a negative or an incorrect perception of what hip hop is? We gotta teach them, honestly. Um, like we said before, we need people who are, of course, on the other side, aka the hip hoppies, as I like to call us. Um, really pumping out authentic material, not only in choreography, but in our classes. Anytime we have a chance to use, um, anytime we have a platform, we need to use that platform not only to entertain people, but to really educate them. This is our opportunity. This is our 15 minutes to get on the mic and to really just say, hey, this is what hip-hop is and this is what it isn't. A lot of people who do listen to hip-hop, uh, commercialized music, commercialized hip-hop, I feel like to them it's a fantasy that they're living out. Like A lot of people aren't just going to go to the hood and be like, hey, uh, so how's your life experience? Uh, let's talk about it. Teach me something about where you grew up. I highly doubt that. It'll probably be, I think, the best way to learn about people. But a lot of the times, I can listen to commercialized hip-hop and I can watch ratchet reality television shows because me personally, I know that that's not all that black people are. I know people, I have people in my family who act a fool and I have people in my family who are real, uh, who are well educated. So I feel like for me, I, reality television love and hip hop and, uh, you know, commercialized hip hop isn't my only reality because I do know people who aren't like what they say, what they talk about in the songs or what they show on reality television television and hip-hop to me is self-expression both in the music and the dance but at the same time I do think that we have to draw a line in the sand and say okay so when is too much too much 
I am going to support you and lift you up as my brother and my sister. But at the same time, we got to do better. Nobody else is going to go out and teach people. We have to do it. We do. It's up to us. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, peace, love, and chicken grease. No, I'm just playing. It's pretty stereotypical, huh? But peace, love, and happiness.